hello guys today let me show you how to connect to sql db and print the elements or print the contents of a table or print the count of the rows of a table using python for this we need to import a model called pyodobc which is uh, not a part of a python standard library so we need to install it so go to command prompt just to type pip3 install pyodbc so it is installing the package so it's done so let me write import pyodbc now next uh, for your better understanding let me write my host name my test host name equal to test SQL DB SQL DB is equal to test DB okay now what I need to do is like I will be using a try accept statement why because if uh, there is any error connecting to the DB it will throw an error so let me say try connect equal to pi odbc dot connect now what I need to connect I need first what is the driver that I am going to connect here driver is SQL driver driver equal to so you need to, call, you need to, you need to write this in curl bracket SQL server okay next what I'm having is like I need to go for server server is nothing but my host name so anything with my host name is test okay next uh, it will be like uh, uh, what is the DB name okay database then I have trusted connection so uh, if you are if the SQL is having the Windows authentication then you can directly go for trusted authentication trusted underscore connection will be yes if uh, if you don't have uh, if you have separate uh, credentials for uh, if you have separate credentials for SQL driver that part I will be showing you later so you can instead of trusted connections you can say UID UID equal to your username and then same way you can go for PWD PWD is equal to your password in the same format you need to write maybe I will show you in the later part then next uh, once it is connected what it should show is like cursor is equal to connect dot cursor okay. now next part will be the uh, it will be like it will it's, it, it will be to execute what I want to execute from the DB so cursor dot execute what I need to execute the command will be similar to our uh, SQL command only it will be like since now first I will be uh, trying to get the counts from the table so count from the table will be like select count star from say my table name is country select and this from will be your it should be caps okay now count count equal to cursor dot fetch one so this will give you the count print count of rows in table country 
is count. So this will print your count of the elements. And uh, what next is like I want to print each use that particular table that's country. So for that what I need to do is like same way cursor dot execute now what I need to do is like I need to execute some particular column a particular headers right particular column say like in my um, in my table country in my table country is having some uh, some row say like uh, serial number then say like uh, the st uh, states then say like state capitals okay so I need to print only those columns alone from that particular table country so select select serial number sl so this is how the this is how it will be serial number then comma state comma capital so i need to print the, all the rows from, for this three columns alone capital from country okay now for row in since it is going to print each rows so cursor dot tch patch all So with this, it is going to print all the rows of that particular table country for column, serial number, state and capital. So next, uh, I need to uh, close the connections. So for this, I have cursor dot close and then connect to close. So you be always remember that uh, once you execute the code, you should have these two command while close for closing the PyODBC Py connection with the SQLDB. If you don't close the connection, then your PyODBC will always take the session of uh, your SQLDB server and your SQLDB will stop updating until unless you don't uh, restart your server or you don't restart your SQLDB services. So always make sure you always disconnect the connection of PyODBC Py with your SQL server using this two commands. So now, so I have a try statement here. So I need to go with the accept statement. Accept by ODBC dot programming error as here. If there is any error for connection, then it will at least show me a message with the reason of error. Print then connect to the SQL DB SQL server. And the reason will be here. Okay. Now, uh, this program I cannot run in the system because uh, I don't have SQL uh, Server installed in my system. But trust me, this program will run 100% in your systems. Now, uh, next, like uh, trusted connection, right? So, like uh, I can have. Uh, uh, this trusted connection it will work only when you have Windows uh, authentication in the SQL server. But if you use different credential for your SQL server, then you can have this uh, UID equal to username and then PWD equal to password. So this is how you can uh, move forward. Now, if you are uh, using this for multiple uh, multiple systems, like multiple host names. So for this, you need to get the host name separately, right? So, so you can you cannot have this code written for multiple systems separately. So for this, what you can do is like you can have a uh, called socket. You can import a model called socket. 
Now first you get the host name. Stream is equal to socket dot get host name. Okay. So here what you need to do is server is equal to plus host name plus okay now now if you run this code it will work in any systems based on your uh, host name what is the host name of server and that host name is matching to sql means it will work fine hope you have understood my video and uh, you just uh, you can execute this program in your system if you have any errors please let me know so that i can uh, uh, help you in uh, resolving that errors and if you have liked my video please press like button and for more videos please 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 subscribe my channel thanks for your watching